Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Healthy Blue, the Communities of Color Network Tobacco-Free Living, and Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show, <laughs> week three here at Martha's Bistro, 19900 Old Scenic Highway, where every Monday about 1230, Coach and I are going to be shooting the show. We welcome you to come out, have some food, and uh, see the show being produced and talk some SU football afterwards. You can catch us about five times a week on TV. You can see the times there on the screen, as well as our YouTube and our Facebook uh, channel. So check us out and uh, follow us, whatever your pleasure may be. Coach, let's jump into some football. Tough going for the Jaguars in Hattiesburg. The final score read 48-0. Uh, Coach, one of the things that I noticed, it was our first time not having our starting quarterback in four years. Austin Howard is out with a leg injury. Well, exactly, you know, and I really thought that that led to some uh, unfortunate timing in plays that we like to run. Uh, you know, he's going to get well. We hope to have him ready to go in the next couple of weeks. But he's out rehabbing, and we wish him a speedy recovery. Coach, on this night, we played three quarterbacks looking for a spark. Uh, out of the three who played, uh, Bubba McDaniel started. Uh, uh, Dartez Lee, I thought, had a good night. Tell us who stood out in Coach Dawson Odom's eyes as the guy who's next up. Well, I really thought McDaniel did some good things. He, he at least went to the right place with the football. It's just execution. We got to hit some of those easy passes in the beginning, you know, and I thought uh, Lampley came in, he ran the ball one play, but I really thought Lee came in and played with a lot of calmness about it. And he was able to move the offense, which I, I really think we can move the football on anybody if we execute. The way we play offense and the kind of offense that we run, we always got somebody that's going to be open, but we got to, as a trigger, you got to be able to deliver that football on time. Coach, I saw some bright spots on defense. The score was 48-0, to zero, but Augustine, uh, Preston, Tiller, and Takugu, uh, I thought all those guys played lights out on defense, and I really feel like when we play in SWAT competition, they're going to be uh, pretty, pretty stout. How did you feel about your defensive play? Well, it spurts. You know, you see when we're doing what we're supposed to do, we're, we're pretty good on defense. It's those times when we're not in the right place or we're out of a gap, misalignment, which leads to big plays. And you're right, I really think the game's gonna slow down for these guys once they get into conference play. We played against a very fast Southern Miss football team and you cannot be out of place. You gotta execute at a high rate in order to give yourself a chance. And we didn't do that very well uh, this past Saturday. Let's jump into those highlights from the Southern Miss game. Southern Miss Golden Eagles showed us a lot of nice hospitality, but not on the football field. Uh, here you have it. Um, Coward, can you move that out the front of the team? Thank you. Uh, sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. Um, yep. The, uh, the, the, the punter dropped a, uh, a snap right here, Coach. Is just, that just nerves? Well, it should have been. I, mean, I thought we had great protection. You know, the previous week we struggled with protection, got that worked out, mm -hmm. did a uh, great snap. Uh, we just lost focus and dropped the football. You see Washington with a nice return right there. Unfortunately, we punt, get the ball back to them. You see a nice tackle by Allen. Coach, I was really, really pleased with some of the stops that we got. They got some big plays and scored, but on certain plays, the defense was really stout and got, by, got you know, them tackled for losses. Well, we had penetration. I thought up front we had a couple guys to play well. Uh, the problem was, you know, we went probably six out of the first seven possessions, maybe been three and out, and then you get the short field. You just can't give a good team like this the short field. It's hard enough to stop them going the distance, but you give it to them on the 15 to 25 plus 30 yard line, it's gonna be hard to stop an explosive offense like right. Southern Miss. You saw Bubba McDaniel with a tip pass. Uh, they scored again. Here you see us, uh, another fumble, uh, looking just a little bit nervous and a little bit uh, like freshmen at quarterback, and that's exactly what they were, and their play dictated that. Uh, 
I, I also thought Southern Miss had a pretty good team. Their, their running back was pretty stout, and I think they're going to be uh, competitive in their Conference USA schedule. Uh, but again, I really feel like the Jaguars are going to come to play defense when we start playing in SWAC play, Coach. Well, you know, I think we got a chance. You know, I think we got a really good football team. It's, it's hard to tell from this Southern Miss football game, but, you know, we gave them more plays. You know, we had a chance to make some plays that we left out there. And we came back to work today, and we're going to get a lot better. There you go. You saw a good play where we forced the fumble, got the ball back. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything with it, and that was kind of the, the root of the day. We would get the ball back and, and couldn't move the ball. We move it. We move it in spurts, 12 yards here, 13 yards there. Uh, there you see a good defensive play right there, uh, denying the touchdown. That should have been an interception right there, Coach. Unfortunately, uh, didn't come up with it. Well, that's exactly what we talk about all the time is catch the ones that hit your hand, and mm -hmm. that was unfortunate. That's a PBU, but you know you keep points off the board if you make that interception. The Golden Eagles there are on the move again. There's a good defensive play, Coach Tiller, I believe. Is that Bubba McDaniel in there, Coach? I look like he's going to uh, Dylan Beard right there. There you go. There you have it, first half, Southern Miss, Southern. We come back, we'll look at the second half on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. Stay with us. The biggest scratch-off game of the season is here. It's Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery. Your chance to win up to $100,000. Scratch the back for an extra game. Enter the second chance drawings for VIP suite experiences, a deluxe limo experience, a tunnel team experience, official autograph team merchandise, and the grand prize, a 2018 season ticket package. Play Saints Game On from the Louisiana Lottery for your chance to make this your winning season. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, halftime, 35-0, rookie quarterbacks trying to get something going. What do you tell the team uh, when you're down 35 points and you got a whole other half of football to play? Well, a lot of stuff that, you know, you, you tell them to just try to get them encouraged to come out in the second half and play with some pride and passion. And I really thought we did that. We were very competitive. We played much more sound in the second half. Uh, we just shot ourselves in the foot in the first half, and I really thought they came out and did well. It gave up an interception return, uh, led to seven points, and you held them to a field goal for the last two quarters. And that's something we can build on going forward, and that's how we're going to have to ask this football team to play. Coach, before we jump into those second half highlights, got to ask the Jaguar Nation million dollar question uh, What is the forecast for Austin Howard's return? Well, you know, I think uh, it's going to be some time before we get him back. I think. He's rehabbing, and again, we're just uh, looking for a speedy recovery from him. We know he's a good quarterback. We'd love to have him, but we don't want to rush him back too soon. And, you know, I think with another week, uh, and then an another week before we play again, you know, I think we'll get him back to, to about 100% and see if he can't give it a go. You know, if he can't, then we'll have to get those other guys ready to go. There you have it from the coach. Get well, Austin Howard. Let's jump into those second half highlights from the Southern Miss game and wrap up this game. Uh, here you have McDaniel back, and he throws a pick kind of to start the second half. They return it for a pick six. Not the way you want to come out of the locker room at halftime, Coach. Nah, you just can't turn the football over. That was unfortunate there, a little high ball, and, you know, we substituted quarterbacks right there. Nice pass by Darquez Lee. Lee to Beard for 21. Unfortunately, we punt. They get the ball back, and uh, 
There you see a good defensive play, a good breakup right there by Gaines. A young man is playing well the first two games of the season, Montavious Gaines. Uh, Contavious Preston and Nash on that tackle you saw right there. Lumpkins and Bryan on this tackle. Again, Coach, I saw some really good things from the defense on this night. Uh, unfortunately, the score was just out of hand. Well, exactly. You made some plays, and, you know, there's another play being made right there, lead to Washington. I thought guys were more comfortable in the second half. You got adjusted to the team speed, the Southern Miss. Guys flying around trying to make a football play. Great stop right there. Uh, stopped the, the ball carriers forward progress. There's a good gainer right there for us, Coach. Uh, taking the ball, that's Ben up the middle for 26 yards. Coach, that young man has earned himself some playing time, wouldn't you say? Well, he's getting better each and every weekend, and we're going to need him to play well. I think he has a great skill set, and it's good to see him have some success. Lee hits Craig for seven. Unfortunately, we punt. Actually, we get the ball back because they fumble. Uh, ben has a chance to show what he can do again. I think he rips it off for 12 on this night. Uh, so right now, Herb Edwards is running, running. Ben is running too, Coach. Well, exactly. And, you know, it's a wish Herb a speedy recover too. He got a little banged up in this football game. And, you know, but I think he's doing okay. He was at practice this morning, good spirit. So, you know, that's the thing. I think these guys got a chance. And if I run it back and stay healthy, they're definitely a good group of guys back there. All right. When we come back, we'll look at our um, Alpha Media Players of the Week and have the Coca-Cola Player interview and look forward to the University of Texas at San Antonio on the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Stay with us. I have two kids and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., about one in five African American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms, and if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style, and most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we come to you each week from Martha's Bistro, located at 19900 Old Scenic Highway in Zachary, Louisiana. We invite you to come up, check the show being produced, and talk a little Southern football after with Coach and I. Coach, let's talk about the Alpha Media Players of the Week on offense, defense, and special teams from the special Southern Miss game. Well, defensively, a guy that's a mainstay in the defense, Aaron Tillum. Gave great effort and, and played extremely well. Uh, offensively, a guy came in that gave us a spark, uh, really moved the offense up and down the field was Darquez Lee. And special teams, a, tr a true freshman, uh, Jamar Washington, a guy that's done a great job for us, great job in the return game. Uh, look for some great things from that young man going forward. After a game like this, Coach, uh, a lot of times the, 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 the team is not in a talkative mood, I would say, 48-0. But uh, Joe Dupree caught up with Andre Augustine, hard-hitting safety, and uh, filed this report on the Coca-Cola player interview after the game. 
Well, Todd, we're here after a disappointing loss to the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss, but the defense definitely put in a lot of good work today. We're here with uh, number 17, Mr. Augustine from Carroll High School in Monroe, a junior with Southern. Man, you had eight great tackles, but I know it's a challenge with the defense being on the field so long. How did it feel today? I mean, we just got to do what we coach to do. No matter how long we're on the field, you know, I, made, I missed a few tackles. That contributed to, you know, a couple of points. So, like, if we all do what we're supposed to do, it would have had a better outcome. Well, definitely the team is working. And what is the mood of the team right now as you move forward? The mood of them, I mean, of our overall team, we got our head up. We're looking forward to prepare to the next game. I mean, I'm a little disappointed, I ain't going to lie, you know, but we just got to gotta keep, keep moving forward and, you know, look for our next opponent. Got one more question for you, Andre. With all the new pieces that are coming together with the Southern Jaguars, you know, a lot of pieces have moved on. Is the team looking forward to better days? Yes, sir. Definitely going to be better days. Better than this one tonight, guarantee. Well, you heard it right here on the Jaguar Football Show. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Andre. Uh, Coach, I like that young man's motor. He's a good one for you on defense. Coach, talk about... Uh, injuries after the Southern Miss game? How do we come out? How did the players fare? Well, we're a little banged up. You know, we got a couple guys that I know went to the doctor to get some MRIs, and we're waiting to hear back from those guys, and hopefully it's not as bad, and, you know, hopefully we can get those guys back on a speedy recovery. So it's tough right now going through this stretch of this non-conference schedule, and, you know, that bye week is a long way away. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get these guys to their finish line, and get them to that first bye week healthy enough to, to compete because we got a conference schedule to play as well. Well, one thing for sure, Coach, it gives you a lot of chance to get some new guys some time and to see what they can do on the field. Well, exactly. We're getting some guys playing against some, uh, some upper echelon talent and just seeing how they compete and, and they're learning on the job. And, you know, that's causing some mistakes. But hopefully this is a good training and hopefully healthy enough once we get into conference play, to be able to get these guys in some backup roles and be able to give us more depth going into conference. So we're looking forward to finishing up the non-conference schedule and moving forward to UT San Antonio this week and giving ourselves an opportunity to play better. And this football team must play better. Well, there you have it from the coach. Stay with us as we talk about the University of Texas San Antonio Roadrunners and Coach Frank Wilson in the next segment of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, moving forward, University of Texas San Antonio Roadrunners this weekend. It's our second road game. Uh, we got to go to San Antonio. They're coached by longtime LSU running back coach Frank Wilson. He was a recruiting guru as well as a running backs coach. I think he was responsible for Lenard Tillery coming to LSU and some of the other good guys. So we know Frank Wilson can recruit. Can Frank Wilson coach, and what has he shown so far? He beat Baylor this past weekend. Uh, I'm not sure what Baylor has this year, if they're on a down uh, cycle due to their uh, problems, or if it was just a great win for the UTSA Roadrunners. Well, I think it's a combination of both. I think UT San Antonio is a good football team, a team that made it to a bowl game last year. They're 
very explosive on offense, very physical on offense and defense. They play great special teams, and they're a well-coached football team, and they have some talent. I think the quarterback's one of the better quarterbacks that we're going to see this year, and they have a running back that I think is probably, if not better or close to the one we just saw at Southern Miss. I think both of those guys are high on the NFL radar. They do some great things, and they're playing in a polished offense, so it'll be a difficult challenge. You know, but the biggest thing I'm looking for is improvement, looking for us to cut down on our mistakes, get lined up, communicate better, and just play a better brand of football. And if we do that, you'll see the confidence go up, and you need confidence going into your uh, conference season opener, and that's right around the corner. But I'm looking for our football team to play much better against UT San Antonio than we did against Southern Miss. Coach, I've been doing the show now for 21 years, and um, when you get schools like this that are just not on our regular radar, how did this San Antonio game come about? Well, you know, it's one of those money games. You got to try to figure out some teams to play in. You know, it's not like the lower tier of mid-majors are going to call us to play. You're either going to get Power 5 or you go get the upper echelon teams that are very, very good. And, you know, you got to do you got to do this in order to make money at this day and age in college football. We understand that, you know, and it's, it's difficult, though, on our players. And, you know, the travel time that we play, you know, it's – it's tough. You play on Sunday, turn around, play on Saturday against this team, and you got to travel to San Antonio, play again. You know, it, it, it wears a team down, and hopefully we can sustain it. Uh, but the good thing about our players is that they're mentally tough. Our mindset is play who's on the schedule, do what we got to do to get ready. And I know we'll play much, much better going to UT San Antonio. And when that page is done, we'll turn to the next page and, and get our eyes set on our first conference opponent. Game like San Antonio. It's a, a cultural spot uh, for Hispanic and um, Texas, you know, culture. Um, you leave on a Thursday. Do you do you work some of the Alamo or some of the things, the Riverwalk that San Antonio has as tourist tourism into your uh, routine, or do you just keep the same routine? Hotel, meals, practice. You know, how does a trip like this work? for the Southern Jaguars? Well, I mean, I really don't think you have the time because of how long the, the trip is. So once you get in Thursday, it's gonna be a tired football team. So you gotta get them some rest and you let them sleep in Friday morning and, and really try to give them a chance to stay off their feet and, and recover because that's a long time to be in a sitting position, you know, cause you know, you're gonna bust down. So it's, it's, a, difficult, it's a difficult trip, it's a tough journey. But, you know, we're the Jags and we understand what we got to do and how we got to go about doing it. But you're not going to have time to, to get these guys out and about, uh, get them off their feet, get them in Thursday, get them rested up Friday. And we don't kick off till, till Saturday night. And then you got to make that long trip back. So it's, it's a challenge. And then you come right back and you got to get ready for your next opponent. So it'll be definitely a tough challenge on the players, but probably a more difficult challenge on the coaches. There you have it from the coach. Uh, of course, we want to make sure all the Jaguar nation that resides in Texas. I know Houston is one of the biggest outposts of Southern University Jaguars. Uh, love to see you guys come down and uh, support the Jaguars in San Antonio. And uh, all those Jaguars in that region try to make your way to support the team because the kids definitely play better, coach, when they have people in the stands that are rooting for them, right? Well, exactly. I think that creates some motivation and some excitement to know that Jaguar Nation is going to be following, which they always do. You know, we never have any problems with Jaguar Nation on the road. They're always excited. They always do a great job of supporting this football program, and we thank them for that. Well, when we come back, we're going to wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Healthy Blue for our Healthy Louisiana plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Healthy Blue. Call 1-855-229-6848 today. That's 1-855-229-6848. Diseases from smoking kill more African Americans each year than car crashes, AIDS, and murders combined. In the U.S., 
about one in five African-American adults smoke cigarettes. It's estimated that each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by seven minutes. That's seven minutes less to spend time with people you love doing what you love each time you smoke a cigarette. Is it worth it? Smoking affects us all. Hi, I'm Coach Dawson Odoms. And if you're looking for a great new or used car, Jerry Lane Chevrolet invites you to come and check them out. Whatever your taste in vehicle is, they got a great lineup to fit your style. And most importantly, your budget. Personally, they're taking care of me with this great truck. I'm a big guy, and this a big truck. It's roomy and comfortable, and it has to get up and go when I need to get up and go. So remember, whatever your taste in vehicles, come visit us at Jerry Lane Chevrolet. Go Jags! Welcome back to the Jaguar football show. This is one of those rare shows that we actually have some time to close out the show because we're usually jammed up for time and jammed up to get out of the show. So coach, let's talk about uh, some of the things that we got going on with the team this year. Offensive coordinator, Chennis Berry, he's got some nice tools uh, to replace Lenard Tillery and Willie Quinn. How is he working with those freshman quarterback to get the ball in the hands of those playmakers? Well, I think we got a you know great system of what we do on offense. I think it creates some windows of opportunity. It creates some problems for defenses, and you know we just got to execute. And I think that's the biggest thing is uh, when you watch film, you see plays out there to be made. Uh, we got to deliver the ball. We got to catch the ball, and we got to block at the point of attack. But we always got a chance to make some plays, and he's done a fantastic job. And I know the blue machine to get going here soon. Um. Defensive coordinator Trey Oliver. I've been pleased with what I've seen from him from the press box. But how about the coach? Have you been happy with what's been happening defensively? Well, we're getting better. You know, the thing is, we got to get more consistent. You know, we got to find a way to eliminate these big plays and, and bust at the wrong time. I think if we do that, we got a chance to be very good on defense. The guys have a better understanding in year two. You know, I think the communication is better. But we got to learn to play one play at a time and, and be consistent and our execution. If we do that, we got a chance to be very special on defense. Coach, you got two new coaches on the staff. Who are they and what are they coaching? Uh, Reed Sanders is a graduate of Southern University. He's our running back coach, doing a fantastic job. Got some young guys that he's getting ready to play. And Mark Fredericks is another Southern graduate who's coaching our wide receivers. He was here under Pete Richardson and he's, we brought him back and he's doing a fantastic job coaching our wide receivers. Very good. There you have the coaching update for the Southern University Jaguars. Of course, as we close this week's show, we want to encourage all the Jaguar Nation to buy some tickets. Call the ticket office, get you some tickets, 225-771-4100. The kids need to see you in the stands. Southern needs to see you in the stands from a support perspective. Coach, we want to wish you guys luck in your travels to San Antonio. I hope you guys uh, have no troubles uh, on that road. I know that uh, we're still suffering from some hurricane fallout in that corridor, so uh, hopefully everybody can travel safely. Of course, each week you can catch us five times on TV, Facebook page, the YouTube channel, and as always, Go Jags! Go Jags.